Hey, little rollerblader, are you okay? Hey! Will you guys stop talking about rollerblading? What? Are you afraid you're missing out on something? Yes! Welcome to the first episode of the Blade Rat Podcast. This episode is hosted by me, Brad Oz, or full name Brad Oz and Tusky. Shortened because no one can particularly say my Polish last name. Anyway, I'm a rollerblader, a Portland resident, video producer, photographer, and co-owner of Haunted Wheel Co. We hope that this podcast can provide you the opportunity to join us on this blade venture and to spread a few voices in blading. Every episode takes about four to eight hours of production. We appreciate any support and thank you for listening. Tune into the whole episode to find out how you can support and contribute to quality blading podcasts. Crank up your headphones and join the blade session. Our journey began Friday, August 11th, 2017. Our small crew of four for the day, Aaron Powell, Steve Duraza, Greg Tuthill, and me, Brad Oz, set out to meet up at the new addition to the Lebanon, Oregon Skate Park. This is a -a one-of-a-kind, plaza-esque park that recently received a beautiful addition of a launch ramp rhythm section and a bowl and a spine section. The Portland crew and the Eugene crew pulled up to the spot with impeccable timing. Everyone looked juiced on the park, was super excited to boot up, and of course, the homies all had to exchange handshakes and hugs. This session was a perfect warm-up to tomorrow's main event. Levi Gideon, brother of Zach Gideon, graciously offered us his humble abode for the night. As per tradition, the Portland boys cracked open a cold one and got to setting up camp while Zach and Levi graciously offered Oregon gummies, caramels, and CBD oil. Pain soothed, stories were told, and laughs were exchanged. This scene opens with Levi Gideon rolling up a morning spliff to praise the old blade god. Yeah, anytime you guys are in town, you guys are always welcome. Just chill here if you ever need a spot. I'm still here. Hey, world. Thank you. He's awake. Get your beauty rest. What? Get your beauty rest. <laughs> That's what you want to call it. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Yeah. Good. Has everybody been up forever or something? Yeah. Okay. yeah. 30 minutes. But before we depart for this event, Levi has to water his Oregon homegrown and veggies. Is there a way you can like test the weed to see if it's an indicator sativa? Smoke it. Just smoke it and see how you feel? Yeah. I feel like I'm not even a good enough test. No, you can definitely tell, you know, like where it's at. Yeah. How it feels. Just don't smoke for a day and then smoke like <coughs> kind of smoke bit. one solid bowl and like go from there. What kind of tree is this over here? These are apple trees. Wow, those berries taste really cool. They're like an insane color, huh? Yeah. Mm. Are they supposed to turn blue eventually? Or? No, those ones are just pink. Thanks. Bunch of apple ones. The crew departs and meets up at a local breakfast joint. Now an Oregon resident, also a rollerblader, and formerly from Michigan, Joe Hockey welcomes the crew to his wife's vegan diner. I don't know if you're from the show tour. All right. I bet. Really good. Levi. What was your name? Aaron. Aaron, nice yeah. to meet you, man. New to Fox. Uh, you can on that one. Yeah. You guys bring some stuff to give to the little homies? What's that? You bring some stuff to give to the little homies? The kids? I don't have much. I have a few pairs of like two. I have a skate and a former rollerblade here. You gotta get a photo of you with this because you're part of it. Yeah, this is like right in between Thank two you. of my vacations, so I'm working like 14, 15 days straight. Yeah, dude. I'm going to have fun with the kids today. I'm gonna, if you guys are blading afterwards, you want to the coast today? Well, I'm playing it by ear. I still feel like we're not skating today. So. Make the most of today. I think we're already out there. Yeah, we're going to lay around if you're down the street. Is Alan around? Yeah, he's probably ready to park. Oh, sweet. I skated the Lebanon Park yesterday with them. Awesome. Yeah, Alan's a river for sure. Well, I'll hit you guys up when I get out. If anything's going down, yeah. I'd love to meet up. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. Breakfast will be right up. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Extra special breakfast. And it truly was an extra special breakfast. Blading Hospitality reached a 4 out of 4 stars as Joe Hockey and his wife offered this delicious vegan breakfast on the house. Shout out to Joe Hockey. Thank you so much, and thank you for hooking up the homies. 
The crew departs the WJ Skate Park. The skate park is truly a work of art, has four huge graffiti pillars with majestic artwork, and quite often feels like three parks that magically flow into each other. This scene opens with Alan Clark receiving the first few hand-me-downs for the Donate and Skate event. Trying to some use. I don't have any work for them. There's some uh, anti rockers, some bigger yeah. wheels, some regular sweet dude. Yeah. Woo! Try Got a lot out. to figure out. <laughs> I sit down with Zach Gideon, one of the organizers of the event. Zach is a Eugene resident, skate park ripper, brother, and ski enthusiast. We apologize for the muddy audio in these interviews. I wanted this conversation to feel casual and close to the park. Unfortunately, the park resides below the highway. What's up, Brad? So today we are in Eugene, Oregon at Washington Jefferson Skate Park. It's a covered skate park here in town, and we're collaborating with the city to do a Donate and Skate event where we are uh, teaching anyone who wants to learn how to skate, kind of just influencing. To set this up, we have the tent here. There's a couple kids. Looks like they're rolling past, kind of interested a little bit. You had to get a permit, right? Which is different from last year. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so yeah, last year we did it up in Beaverton and we you know, put it together and uh, we just kind of hosted the event at the park there and it was great and everything, but uh, a you know, local city workers kind of came up and recommended that we should get a permit next time and kind of establish that. And uh, So this year I had worked with the city in the past and so I recommended maybe hosting it here in Eugene and uh, I'd be able to work with Melinda, who is the uh, parks coordinator here. and. Uh, set the event up, got a permit, and uh, have the city's full backing on it and promoting st uh, non sport dominant skate parks. So it looks like we have a couple of uh, quite a few throwback pairs of skates and whatnot. Uh, yeah, yeah, what, what kind of, what kind of uh, equipment and gear are people bringing to the table here? Uh, so I feel like when you look around at, the, at what's available, you see a lot of stuff. Uh, in the in the vintage styles of like lightnings and even some old school M12s, it's just like um, those are in the smaller sizes for kind of more on that um, shrinking down the capabilities and kind of allowing people to get familiar with rolling and uh, comfortability on on skates in general. Sure, sure. And then the larger sizes end up being more of skates that are lightly used, have been replaced with you know replaced the wheels, replaced the laces, whatever you have to, to kind of make them. Uh, something that's going to be easy to learn and easy to be encouraged to try new things on. So. Nice. Right. I saw Greg busting out the old school wreck blades. What kind of <laughs> blades was he doing? I saw him doing some soul grinds and some uh, oh soulless blades. Some, uh, we had three buckles on these bad boys. They were Bowers, I believe, and yellow buckles. We got three levels of support there. Yeah. Kind of reminiscent of like an old ski boot with the three style. And he was he was flexing out on those things. I think yeah, I saw yeah. it was a soul grinder on the curve on that three stair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta show the kids that it could be done and everything. Yeah. Right? You know, you know, yeah. Northwest Shred Tour a couple, of, you know, just a month ago, I saw somebody brought the rollerball skates <laughs> and uh, actually handed them to Danny Beer. He strapped those up and he was grinding the pier rail and some rollerballs. Wow. So yeah, yeah, you know, like. Sometimes technology and skating doesn't need to progress forward. Sometimes you gotta see the vintage elements and bring those. Right. Look at you know? the bare bones, essential elements of it. Yeah, yeah. Show them that can be done on everything. Oh wow! Looks like the wiener dog ratio is really starting to come out here oh, wow, in Portland. Yeah. Now we got two wiener dogs out here. Usually, sometimes it might be a maximum of even five, six, seven. I've seen up to. Uh, I've worked to seven before. I'd say in the northwest, it ain't a rollerblade session until the wieners come out. And yep. It is what it is. There's rumors that like a two to one ratio of bladers to wieners is actually the most essential. Oh wow, walking up with Red Bulls. Ooh, Red Bull. Thank you. Nothing about that, cracking in a cold one. Cracker going with the boys, cheers Brad. Yeah, yeah, so you're saying about the weenie dog to... To blader ratio, two to one, you know, you really, it really gets alive when that happens. Yeah, yeah, so it gives, it gives us good energy, good vibes. Good energy, the pups are yapping, things are alive, yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. It's a party. So maybe like uh, one last question. Uh, any shout outs to anybody and also kind of tell us a little bit about uh, who helped you organize this? Who are the people involved with this today? Yeah, so shouts to Alan Clark for being the homie. Uh, me and him kind of moved here 
relatively almost like 10 years ago from the East Coast and uh, where where'd you move from? from we moved I moved here from Alabama in 2010 2011 Alan was like I think a couple years before that and then we just ended up linking up actually because of a friend of his here in Eugene and uh, yeah just ended up being both dedicated to the cause and uh, he was really the one pushing for the event this is definitely something more like without Alan I wouldn't have been able to have a platform to help him make it a reality so Shouts to Alan for his passion for the sport and his dedication to rollerblading. Uh, shouts to all the other rollerbladers out here. Really too many to list. It's just, it's amazing that there's this much support in, in the Northwest and it's only, only yeah, growing yeah. and accumulating better. So shouts to all you Portland dudes that have made it out. We thoroughly enjoy your company and appreciate any time we can get with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blading is live, man. Live and well. Yeah. Thanks for time, Cheers, bud. man. Shout out and thanks to Zach Gideon for co-hosting the event. Alan Clark sorts out more of the vintage blading gems, Cody Clark joins the event, and the homies wish me a happy birthday, which magically landed on the day of the event. Coming through with some ollies. These are from Dustin. Oh shit. Well, these are mine. He didn't make it down. What we got here? Ollie short, size 12s, and one Valo. <laughs> no, oh, okay. Somewhere, somewhere. Not back. We're good to go. Hold on, man. Happy birthday. Oh, it's your birthday? Yeah. Okay, Happy here, birthday. Here comes Greg with another like two skates. Sick. And now we're sitting here with Alan Clark. So tell me a little bit about uh, what's this event about and what are we doing today? Today we're doing Donate and Skate, which was started by Kevin Little in Texas. Uh, when I first moved to Oregon, like I always wanted to do something like this and he started it and uh, he actually put a post on Facebook saying like anyone want to do it in their area hit me up and I'll help you out You know, so I you know I just hit Kevin up about it and asked him how he was doing it He gave me some pointers and just told me how he ran the event and so me and Dustin Oh, actually the Facebook post me Dustin Jameson and Cody Clark all responded and we all lived in Oregon mm. So I, like I hit them up and was like, let's all just do one together, you know so the first year we did was in Portland, and yeah, Donate and Skate is And that good. was last year, 2016, right? Yeah, yeah. And it was 100 degrees that day? It was, yeah, it was. Yeah. But, uh, basically all it is is just all the skaters in your area donating whatever gear they can spare to hopefully try to get some fresh blood on skates. And Sure, it doesn't have to be the newest parts, just some OG stuff, maybe even five, ten years ago stuff. but okay enough condition to get the kids rolling on some yeah, good, if, if, good if it's gear. still rideable and we're just giving it away i mean i mean hopefully no one i mean obviously it's not like the coolest gear no one's gonna be like overly stoked about some old skates but sure like, sure enough to get them into it to, yeah to the yeah something to start with and it looks like we got some t-shirts hanging and everything yeah we actually had we last year we only had like three sponsors this year we have six sponsors and oh dopeness I want to thank them a lot. They sent a lot of uh, a lot of gear just to give out. And so who are the sponsors this year? We got FID, S9 Bearings, Rollerblade, Sick Urethane, Urethane Intuition Skate Shop, and, and Roller, Roller Warehouse. Warehouse. Yeah. Sick, sick. Very cool. So this year we're, we're going to do a, a best trick competition as well and have some prizes to give out for that. And Oh, nice. So is that like a one one hour format thing or something, or is it just kind of a free skate or what's? It's, it's basically going to be like I was I was thinking we could do it like a twenty to thirty minutes, or we could just do it like free skate style. Yeah, yeah. But that's going to be harder to judge. We might have to specify what area we're going to skate. Sure, sure. But yeah, yeah that sounds cool. Yeah. Very sick. Um, yeah. So I was talking a little bit with uh, with Le Levi, and we we're just mentioning that you know this sort of thing it's it, it can be uh, used. Like this sort of event um, can be platformed really anywhere, and how important it is. Yeah, definitely. So, like, maybe talk a little bit about that, or what do you, what do you think about that? I, I think that's definitely true. Like, if there's enough, thank you. If there's enough people into blading in your area, then they should all be trying to do something like this. You know, just like. Right, and there's a lot of uh, bladers between Eugene and, or and Portland, Oregon. You know, you don't need the biggest crew in the world. You can get together 10, 15, 20 different people and really kind of like, you can use whatever number of uh, bladers that you have to sort of grow this sort of an event and try to get other young kids into blading. And we got a, a roller hockey spot close by. Um, yeah, yeah. So, you know, try to find those accessible roller skate rinks or hockey rinks, people that will also find it interesting, you know? That's a, that's a really good idea. Yeah.
I didn't even think about that. <laughs> that, that, that was Happy confident. accident, man. <laughs> hey, everything's going our way today. <laughs> this guy, that's Josh. I, I, I met him once at the first Donate and Skate. Randomly, he, he made the Facebook page. I didn't even ask him to. He made the Facebook page for this year's event, oh, okay. which is awesome because neither like none of us, me, me or Zach, we didn't have time for it. Like, right. We didn't get the permit till yesterday. We didn't go pick it up till yesterday. Sure, sure. <laughs> so it's kind of last minute to say the least. So, so who, who are some of the names that people might know out here? Like, who, who do we got here today? A pretty solid crew. We got Travis Stewart out here. From bladerunion.com? Yeah, that's him. Good old Cody, Cody Clark, my cousin. He's out here repping. Cody Clark is your cousin? Yeah, of course. Blood man. cousin? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm telling people. <laughs> <laughs> You're clowning yeah, me, man. Josh, what's up, Jared? Good to see you. Yo, those, those are fresh, those shadow oh, shoes. Man, I've been planning for years, man. To... I got some size 10 shadow shoes that are pretty worn oh, down, but if you could use them, you could oh, have dude, them. I'm, I'm all about it. You yeah. never know when they're... You're a rare thing now. You know? Yeah, I'll show them to you after the podcast. Yeah, so it's August 12th, 2017. We're here at Donate and Skate here in Eugene, Oregon with Alan Clark. And tell me a little bit, how has run the clock backwards and give me a timeline of kind of how, how you brought this event to where it is today. All right, so that would, that started after last year's event. Like, like as soon as we had that trouble with the, with the city or the park guy, for not having a permit and stuff and Dustin stepped in and took care of business I was like well like me and Dustin even talked about it before we before the event like Dustin was sketched out about not having a permit and stuff the whole time he's like we probably need one and I was like we'll be fine we'll just go do it anyways and and it turned out obviously he was right we needed one so after that like I was like after that moment I was like okay next year I want to do it right like Sure. I'm, I want to have a permit wherever we do it. I want to make sure we, we're allowed to do it, you know. And so I just contacted the city of Eugene, the WJ Skate Park, not the skate park, but the, you know, Parks and Rec. And uh, I was emailing the guy in charge of doing that kind of stuff, like renting it out and, you know, just getting a permit for stuff like this for the, for the day or whatever. And he just told me basically it was like $120 security deposit and $40 for the permit. And I was like, okay, let's do it. I filled out all the paperwork online, submitted it, it he approved it, and uh, we got the permit. I, you know, Rollerblade's been flowing me for a couple years now, so I just asked them, because they sponsored last year's event, I asked them if they'd want to do it again this year. Right. So they did, and uh, S9, and I just hit the, I just hit up all those companies, basically, and saw it, if they wanted to support it, and all of them were down, and. Kevin from Sick Urethane, he of course supported the event because he's the founder of Donate and Skate. So, so I lined up all those sponsors and, and Zach and uh, Levi got the dudes in FI, from FID to send some shit. So Zach actually helped a lot with, uh, he helped make the flyer and he went and picked up the permit because he lives here in Eugene and I live a lot further south. So, so he actually helped a lot with getting this all together. It looks like you guys got a couple of... Uh... And then that guy, Josh, like I said, he made the, the Facebook page. But So like it was a group effort, but it was just like I, I got the process rolling and, uh, you know, tried our best to do it proper this year, you know. Sure, sure. And it looks like we got a tent. We got some uh, some products. It's looking almost like a legit little like product. Like a little demo. Dude. Yeah, almost. pretty cool. <laughs> and, uh, and what do we got over here? Oh, we got a kid trying on skates right now. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like there's a, a little girl uh, getting some skates. Trying These some girls, on. Amanda and Amani, they helped a lot with the posters. And they, like, Amanda hit up Roller Warehouse to get the catalogs and everything sent. Yeah. And, like, it was a big group effort, man, to get this whole thing together. And got you out here podcasting, too. Like, this is so awesome. This, but we need more people out here. We need more people. Where is everybody? <laughs> Everyone, well, it is the it is the middle of summer. People have things going on. Um, a lot of people have some family things going on today. I know, in particular, in the Blade community, most of the people that are missing it today, like Ivan Gwyn, we got um, oh, our boy man. Weed Porn is out there, and they're Dustin, Dustin up, Jameson. Huh? They all they're all tied up with family and such. Oh, you, you know, can bring your events. family. <laughs> I'm gonna advertise really hard, like all year for the next one. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do this every year as long as we can. Like, yeah, dopeness. Oh. I might have got the hotness of the, the new flyer. I shot this photo of Greg earlier in the session Ooh. he put on the old school blades i don't know what they were but those those, those super rec, rec blades he, 
<laughs> he did a soul grind around the curb, dude. Nah. It's, it's gonna be the sickest oh. flyer, man. And, and it's still got the brake on it and everything. I miss that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, we gotta put our that. skates on. <laughs> you ready to shed? I, I just need to roll around Fuck a little yeah, bit. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Sick. Hell yeah. Alan Clark announces the best trick winners for the second annual Donate and Skate event 2017. Okay, uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming out to the second annual Donate and Skate here in Oregon. Woo! It was really fun. Uh, I want to thank all the sponsors and the city of Eugene for letting us have this here. Um, Donate and Skate is just basically all of us getting together and giving our extra stuff to hopefully get new kids on skates. It just didn't happen as well as I had hoped today, but it was still cool to get everyone together and just have a good skate. And, uh, thank you guys for coming. The the winners of the best trick competitions, uh, first place Rob in hockey, and second place Cody Clark, my cousin. You guys don't know. Come up here with me and get a shot. Make me feel good about myself. Who's gonna be here? I gotta Instagram you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. making it happen. There we go. Oh, oh, no, hey, you're holding the day. Hey, thank oh, everyone. Like a lot of people helped make this happen. Like and did so much work. To I wouldn't name all of you, but I'm going to stop talking. Yes, Donate and Skate next year. It's going to be in August again. Not sure on the date, but I'll let you guys know as soon as possible. We'll actually make a good Facebook page. And we'll make it sooner. Not, not that it wasn't good, Josh. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody, you're awesome. Obviously, it was tight, man. It's better than last year. Like, by far. Hey, so we're going we're gonna to separate all those prizes, and then we'll give you guys a box of shit here in a minute. Yeah. See We all helped tear down the tent exchange goods, say our goodbyes, as well as get our game plan for the evening. The crew, now 10 deep, heads over to the pizza by a slice joint, sizzle pie for a beer and pizza, blade fuel. We exchange some driving directions and figure out a street spot close by for the next session. This scene opens with Levi Gideon as he lands a perfectly stylish topsail on the top bar of a handicap rail. This rail is kind of unique, kind of a bottom bar to top bar, and was a ton of fun to skate. After several tries of falling into the bushes, Alan Clark laces a Machio on the bottom bar and steps up to a top point on the top to a perfect 180 out. That was a good one. Thank you. We end up at the last skate park of the day, Junction City. The crew, now down to seven bladers deep and two wiener dogs. Angie and Otis. Rob waxes up the practice route for some buttery switch-ups. Steve Draza leans in with his brand new mirrorless Sony at a bold front angle to capture Cody Clark's negative Machia just right. everybody's consensus. Woo! I got a couple of good pictures this weekend. Mostly of dogs. Some of humans. <laughs> One of skating. Thank you all for listening, and thank you for being a part of the Blade family. This podcast has been edited to condense time and enhance your listening experience. Please support us by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com backslash podcast. Sign up to become a Patreon supporter and receive Blader at Peril and other rewards. Follow my work at Brad Oz Photo on Instagram or bradozentowski.com. And follow Haunted Wheel Co. on Instagram and hauntedwheels.com. Please continue to support local, support blading, and keep the passion alive.